Hi friends, I'm Clark Wolf and you're watching The Pop Fix. Since the announcement at Comic-Con last summer that the Man of Steel sequel would also be a Batman vs Superman movie, all of the news coming out of Warner Brothers regarding the film has caused huge chatter on the interwebs. Things got even more crazy when Variety reported exclusively that Joaquin Phoenix is allegedly in talks to play Lex Luthor, which, if it happens, seals the deal that Batman vs Superman could rival the never-produced Superman Lives for potentially the craziest Superman movie ever! And this one is definitely happening. So today, let's count down our top 5 reasons why Batman vs Superman is so crazy it just might work. Ben Affleck as Batman. My favorite pop culture moment of 2013 was the reaction to the news that Ben Affleck would be cast as Batman in the follow-up to Man of Steel. I looked down the first comment, yeah. it's like, Ben Affleck's gonna be Batman. The first one just goes, no! <laughs> I am pro left field casting choices. Michael Keaton is still my favorite Batman, and I think that the Fleck is incredibly talented, charming, and not too hard on the eyes. Plus, there have been whispers that if all goes well, the WB may actually court Ben Affleck to direct the much-anticipated Justice League movie. Hey, Batfleck, hey! Argo screenwriter Chris Terrio to rewrite Goyer's script. As some of you may or may not know, last summer I participated in a marathon review of Man of Steel on AMC Movie Talk. It went... well. But despite a collective lashing from the internet for not really liking the film, I still maintain that the weakest part of the movie was David S. Goyer's script. So I thought it was kind of awesome when The Hollywood Reporter revealed that Argo screenwriter Chris Terrio had been recruited to write a draft of Batman vs Superman, working from Goyer's original script for the sequel. It seems to me if you're going to have a pair of fresh eyes take a look, it's not so bad if those eyes won an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay and led to a Best Picture Oscar. Word. And don't worry fans, this isn't the WB telling Goyer to Argo f*** himself. Goyer is majorly tied up working on multiple projects for the studio, including a big screen adaptation of nerd god Neil Gaiman's graphic novel, The Sandman. Joaquin Phoenix as Lex Luthor? Now, to me, this may be the craziest of the crazy. Last fall, as Breaking Bad was coming to a close, rumors swirled that Brian Heisenberg Cranston was in talks to play Lex Luthor. This seemed a little on the nose to me, considering his Breaking Bad alter ego is also a power-hungry, intense, bald gentleman, but it feels like those rumors kind of came and went. At the end of 2013, Variety reported exclusively that Warner Brothers was looking at Academy Award nominee Joaquin Phoenix to play Lex Luthor. One of my favorite villainous performances from the last 20 years is Phoenix and Gladiator. He is so good! And I also really like him in Signs, but I'm not sure that anything about him says Lex Luthor. This potential casting choice is the definition of so crazy it just might work, if it happens. So let's pretend that it will. Wonder Woman is finally coming to the big screen. Okay, now this news was obviously met with controversy. Why can't Wonder Woman have her own movie? Will she play major second fiddle to Batman and Superman? Why did they cast an actress with such little experience? Does that even matter? Now I actually think it's a smart move to introduce Wonder Woman on the big screen in someone else's movie, and then move into a spin-off. Warner Brothers is really going out of their way to establish a new cinematic DCU apart from previous Superman films, and unfortunately for some, apart from Nolan's Batman universe. But the Dark Knight series feels so fresh in our minds that we as fans might forget that we're only one film into this new incarnation of the DCU. Think of where we were after the first Iron Man movie. There was such a ways to go! Regarding casting Wonder Woman, I don't know much of Gal Gadot's work as an actress, but one thing you can say is that all of these casting choices for the new cinematic DCU have been deliberate and precise. So if Zack Snyder cast her in the role, I'm willing to bet that there's a good reason. Jason Momoa. I love this guy. I love him in Game of Thrones. I love him in Conan the Barbarian. I love that he's married to Lisa Bonet. Now, the rumors are that he's being considered for either Doomsday or Martian Manhunter. Okay, now this is where things get super cray. If it's Doomsday, we've got at least two major Superman villains at once, assuming that Lex Luthor is in fact going to be in Batman vs Superman. But if it's Martian Manhunter, we've got at least four members of the Justice League in one film, not to mention the rumors swirling about Nightwing showing up in there somewhere. Now, If it's Doomsday, I need to ask a question. Doomsday is this Kryptonian mindless killing machine which could be neat to see go up against Batman and Superman, but why put 
with someone like Momoa in the role, aside from his physicality? He can actually act! It seems like it'd be kind of a waste of talent, no? I felt like Michael Shannon, who is one of my favorite actors working today and seemed like a bomb-ass choice for Zod, got totally whitewashed by the end of Man of Steel. I don't want to see the same thing happen to Momoa. Plus, what, are they really going to kill Superman in the end? Alrighty friends, there you have it, my pop five reasons why Batman vs Superman is so crazy it just might work. And if you enjoyed today's episode, you are definitely going to want to come back Monday when I am going to be nerding out with a very special guest talking about Jason Momoa, possible casting choices, and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, I'm here. What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. No, you, you were, John, you were supposed to so, come oh. you were supposed to come next week. All right, I'll come back. I'll wear the same stuff next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching, friends. I'm Clark Wolf, and until next time, what's your fix?